Y'all know when y'all neighbors pass by you in the neighborhood, they want to wave and shit. Do y'all be waving back? Because I don't always be waving back. Does that mean? Bruh. Y'all know, why am I about to cry? Why am I about to cry? Upside down too. <laughs> I think so. You all right? Boy, if you don't get... you in the neighborhood they want to wave and shit. do y'all be waving back because i don't always be waving back does that mean but <laughs> anyway right now i'm on the way to the beauty supply store though because i'm going to be doing my hair today i'm doing some passion twist so today's sunday and i got my second dose of the vaccine on thursday so friday I felt terrible like everything was fine um, the beginning of the day my arm got a little bit sore but I took some Tylenol and I was fine and then a couple hours later I don't know what happened I started feeling like I was getting like a fever my body was burning up but I was freezing like I was shivering um, I felt very weak like I slept that whole day thank God for my mom she was watching royal for me but he slept most of that day anyway so that was good but i did not i could not get up my head was like throbbing my head felt so heavy like i had a bad headache i took tylenol to get my fever down and to help with the my headache and stuff and I, my body was aching like it was just so bad for probably about four four to five hours I was just feeling so bad so I was just trying to sleep through it hold on I can't hear you hello but yeah I just wanted to tell y'all that because I know I said that I was going to keep y'all updated on how I was feeling with the vaccine and all that so I ain't been sick in so long knock on wood knock on wood I ain't got no wood up in here I don't want to jinx myself but I haven't so to feel like that it was terrible um at least now i have the vaccine so i don't have that on my conscience because that was yeah i don't want to get into it but um but yeah that's all i really wanted to tell y'all about that i just wanted to update y'all on how that went my mom gave me the second dose as well if you watched my other video where i got the vaccine you saw my mom um i told y'all my mom gave me the vaccine she gave me the second dose too but yeah that's it y'all i'm probably gonna pick the camera back up either when i get to the beauty supply store or when i get back home so 
yeah i'll see y'all in a bit okay y'all so i'm vlogging but i'm also filming for like a regular hair video as well i finished majority of my hair last night so it's mostly done if y'all want to see a, like a tutorial of how i did these because it's definitely a technique to passion twist i used to think passion twist was like super easy but it's it's easy but it's definitely like a technique to it in order to make it look a certain way but because let me show y'all hold on let me show y'all what i'm talking about okay let me find one that i messed up on okay so you so you see this one and then you see this one look at the difference y'all might not be able to tell but this one is more of like a twist and then this one it just look off like it don't look it don't look the same to the tutorial <laughs> not y'all in my business y'all in my business don't do that i'm just playing excuse me ma'am excuse me you in my business yeah don't do that anywho Y'all, the secret to keeping your edges laid, you can't use just edge control or just gel. You gotta mix them. Right now, I'm using wet line and I'm using this stuff. It's called Lock Lock In. They have an Instagram page. Um, I really don't, I, don't, I use this as edge control, but it comes in this big jar. I've had this for probably about probably about three years now and this is the only edge control i use on my edges but i don't use it by itself to me edge control don't work by itself i have to use it with a gel that's like the only way that my edges stay laid and i ain't no pro at doing no edges i just know how to do my own and i sometimes even i still be struggling trying to do my edges my hair y'all I showed y'all a little bit of it I think but here it is but I realized I never showed y'all like the Christmas decorations y'all we've been trying to decorate our house this year we've been in like the a festive mood I guess since now we have royal we have a reason to you know get in the Christmas spirit Everybody in this house is pretty much grown. So now that we have a baby, it's like making us want to, you know, get in that Christmas spirit. But we got our tree right here. This is our tree. It's not done. We didn't put no ornaments or nothing. We didn't decorate it. We literally just, hold on, is it focused? There we go. We just um, set it up. Like literally, as I was doing my hair, my mom must put the tree together. But, and then we have this going across our fireplace. We ordered some, um, some, what they call it? Stockings? No. Are they called stockings? The things that you hang from the fireplace. 
whatever they call it. We ordered some of those. Um, and we got some other decorations to put around the house, but we just haven't gotten to it yet. <sighs> oh my God, I feel so freaking weak. Like I need to eat something. I just don't know what, what I want. Like, okay. Hey y'all, so I just got dressed. As y'all know, I was breastfeeding. I was exclusively pumping though. And recently I did stop pumping, breastfeeding, whatever. I completely stopped it all together because I really don't even, I feel like I explained it, but I probably haven't. So just in case I didn't explain, I stopped breastfeeding because I noticed my supply was starting to decrease, which has happened to me multiple times before. But in order to get it back up, I have to basically pump every three to four hours for like two days um, until it starts to increase and I start to produce more. But I was just so tired and I just did not feel like pumping. I was ready to stop anyways. And so I feel like that was a sign <laughs> or i wanted it to be a sign i really just wanted to stop breastfeeding like i was just so ready like i have a lot of things that i'm trying to do and and a lot of things that i'll be needing to do and honestly pumping it was stressing me out it was really taking over my life like i had to live my life around pumping around breastfeeding because that's just that was like the main priority like i had to have breast milk for him so i had to pump so i had to do everything else around that and i was pumping about three to four times a day and it would take me a long time to pump like i think um normally it probably takes women maybe 15 to 20 minutes maybe 30 to pump me on the other hand it would take me a full hour to pump both breasts and I just I was just tired of spending my time doing that. Um, it was also like draining me of my energy. I would just not feel like doing anything. So I just completely stopped it all together. And it's actually been going really good. I didn't have any problems drying my milk up. I feel like it's still kind of drying. Like I feel like it's not completely gone. Um, it's probably gonna take a while for my milk to completely dry up, but I don't have any leaking ever. I, I stopped maybe like a week ago. A week or two i don't remember but i haven't had any leaking issues or anything like that my boobs don't feel engorged i'm going really good bruh y'all know why am i about to cry why am i about to cry <laughs> y'all know i don't do insects y'all know i don't do insects well if you don't know you know now why the is there this big ass oh my god y'all about to see me freak out i don't do bugs the body is this big <laughs> oh i can't and i'm gonna leave the house i cannot leave that shit right there because then i'm gonna be paranoid i'm gonna be paranoid that it's gonna end up in my room or something i have this spray but I got to get close enough if I want to spray it. But then I also have the vacuum. I could vacuum that shit up, but I don't even want to get close enough to do it. <laughs> Why does this happen to me? Why? I want to show y'all so y'all don't think that I'm just freaking crazy. Y'all see that great ottoman right there? It's literally right over there oh no oh no 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 it's just gonna have to, i'm it's gonna have to stay there because i can't get it i can't even get close enough to even spray the shit like i cannot <laughs> this is what i go through like this is this is this it disappeared Like, I literally don't see it at all. Oh 
my god i'm just scared i'm gonna see it i don't want to see it i don't want to see it that shit was huge many hours later <laughs> down too. <laughs> I think so. You all right? Boy, if you don't get... Like, you need to go at that angle to make it hit that pin. Yeah. All right. Hey y'all, um, I don't even know when I last vlogged, I think yesterday, but right now, oh, the last time I vlogged was when I found that spider, <laughs> when I found that spider, I, and I actually caught the spider, y'all, I found it, it was hiding under this towel that we have by our back door, cause sometimes, um, water comes in when it rains really hard. It was hiding up under the towel. I saw it crawl from under there, but let me show y'all what I did. Cause y'all know I don't do the bugs. I was too scared to get close enough to kill it. So I put one of these little, um, these sticky traps by the back door and it caught it y'all. The thing crawled in there and it's in there. Hold on, let me see if I can show y'all. Me. Me. All right, what? Me. Oh, wait,